Well, hello again, everybody. Metal Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Well, this is where the game has decided to put me in. Why am I moving? <laughs> uh, I haven't touched my mouse or keyboard yet, and I just moved a little bit there. Well, it looks like I'm on solid ground, or am I? Well, what is this? What in the world? Why is this on the ground here? <laughs> what? Okay, well, for some reason, Freddy Wood's Kid Secure ID is here on the ground. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of hovering a little bit, too. And I, I can't pick it up. I've hit and take, so... <laughs> what in the world? Okay... Is that a duplicate one? Do I still have the one in my inventory? Uh, I do, so at least I still have this one in my inventory. But, uh, what in the world? Let's zoom in on this thing. That's as far as I could zoom in on it. Why, why of all random things is that lying on the ground? That is pretty bizarre. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about it, it's just gonna stay there. Can't pick it up. Um, and something's making a strange sound. Dude, let's go, let's, oh, here's a frog. Hey, look, it's a frog. Look, what you gonna do, frog? He was gonna hop away from me. Ooh, it looks like maybe he's even electrified, doesn't it? Check this guy out. What's up, Froggy? Okay, there he goes. Well, I didn't get a good picture of him. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a picture of this, or not a picture, but just let's look at this frog hopping away. So yeah, uh, one of you guys in the comments said that you wanted to get a better look at the frog because you were wondering what kind of attack uh, a frog would have. It was, it was a good question. And it's looking like uh, maybe they do some kind of electrical attacks, but um, they didn't seem too interested in attacking me. And you know what? I'm all right with that. In the last episode, I kind of feel like I cheated. I was in a tricky situation in that uh, hut up there on top of the rock. And there were uh, rad scorpions around me that for some reason I just was doing no damage to at all, really. Uh, and it was time for me to end the episode anyway, so it's not really a cheat, but you know. Uh, you know, I ended the episode knowing good and well that the game was going to put me someplace else. And it did. It put me down here by the uh, crashed uh, thing again. Uh, are you coming to say hi? Hello, froggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, he's not interested in uh, interacting with me, and I'm okay with that. Um. So, man, I am super, super curious to see what the heck is going on here. Uh, my little compass down at the bottom center of the screen, you can see that little circle thing. It looks kind of like a gear... I don't think that's the symbol for a, a, a vault. I don't think it is, but I guess it could be. There might be a vault over there, but, you know, as you saw in the last episode, man, there's some freaking rad scorpions. There's one that's a level 30, and I can't get... I, I was shooting it, and I was doing no damage to it at all. And then I ended up killing myself. I just couldn't take it anymore, man. Uh, no, I ended up killing myself accidentally by uh, trying to throw down some uh, frag mines, and uh, I guess I threw one at my own feet and ended up killing myself, so... I, I, I really want to go over there, but I just... I just don't think... I don't know how to kill that glowing rad scorpion. I, I was doing hardly any damage to him at all. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this! Oh, somebody left a little camp here. Why do I have a miscellaneous for talk to shooting range attendant up there? Is this that quest that we saw a couple episodes ago? Uh, the daily quest? Yeah. Remember we were in Clarksburg at the shooting range, and I tried to talk to this guy, but then uh, the server went down for maintenance, I say in air quotes. And uh, when I restarted the game, the daily quest was gone. Well, the daily quest is back now. I don't think I'm going to walk all the way back to freaking Clarksburg just for that quest. Uh, maybe at some other point in the game, we'll find ourselves over there. And uh, we can pick up on that quest. I don't know. I'm going to look at my map real quick. See if there's any people running around out here. Uh, I am playing this on um, Thanksgiving Eve here in the United States. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, uh, November 22nd. And it will be Thanksgiving Day. And uh, so this is the Wednesday before. And, uh, you know, I just want to see if there were other people running around out here. And there are. I smoke more than you was out here playing. Yeah, he definitely smokes more than me since I smoke zero. Uh, Possum Chicken. Oh, that's a good one. And uh, Maglar617 are running around right now. Ooh, golly mine. Hmm. Um, 
Here's Arctos Farmer. We've been here. Golly mine. I'm trying to... I mean, I'm guessing that's a place that I visited since it's on my on my map and highlightable, but I don't actually remember it, to tell you the truth. Uh, Portside Pub is here on the map for some reason. Uh, I don't know if you remember when we visited that, but there wasn't a whole lot there. And then here's Arantir playing, but uh, who cares about that? Let's, um... Let's go over here to Prickett's Fort. I'm going to save this place for later in the game when I'm more uh, powerful and maybe I can uh, do some damage to these guys. And I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to turn this quest off because I'm not going to do this quest. All right, so. Oh, geez. Super Mutant up there. Uh, you know, two Super Mutants just kind of hanging out up there. I don't need to engage them. Um... All right, I've, I've fought enough super mutants recently. I don't need to fight anymore right now. So let's... Uh, there's also something interesting on my uh, little uh, compass there at the bottom center of the screen. You can see that. Uh, is I, I'm remembering the things that I love about playing Fallout. And one of the things I love is seeing these things pop up on my compass. Uh, like, ooh, what's that over there? Ooh, what does this mean? Ooh, what's go what am I going to find if I keep going in this direction? Uh, I love it. I, I just I just love it. And I've been having a lot of fun playing this game here recently, here on the outskirts of this map, away from events that keep popping up all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh gosh, uh, might be a good idea if I get better weapons out. Oh jeez, how many of these dudes are there? Okay, mm. mm. got one of them. Whoa, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, that's right. This weapon, when I'm reloading it, I go real slow. Crap. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Run away in this one. Run. Well, luckily these guys <laughs> just have boards, so um, they weren't shooting at me. <laughs> Jerks. I don't want the board. You can keep the board. Take it to the afterlife with you. Huh? That was interesting. It was like a patrol group. Oh, look at this. Here's um, what looks like the tail of a plane here. This looks like the plane that you see when the game loads. Those of you who have the game, uh, there's like a scene uh, outside a building and there's a very patriotic plane uh, parked outside the building. And that's what this looks like here, except this one is split in two. Huh. Uh, U.S. Army Air Corps. Okay. All right, interesting. What's suitable for aromatics? What? Service this airplane with 73 octane fuel. If not available, uh, some somebody or someone or something will be consulted or um, for emergency. Suitable for aromatics? What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Pretty weird. And I guess this is one of the wings of the plane over here. Oh man, I am close to this vault-like thing. <sighs> I really want to go see what it is, but I don't want to encounter those rad scorpions again, that's for sure. So I'm going to try to make my way over here to uh, Prickett's Fort and fix their token dispenser. It's also important that I do that. And maybe I could use Prickett's Fort as a, like a base of operations, kind of, if I decide to go. If I try again to go over there, but I really do think that would be a mistake if I tried to go over there. Considering how much trouble I had against those red scorpions in the last episode. So I guess this is old Prickett's Fort we're looking at here. We got this cool police car, man. This is really neat. This is a really neat alternate universe they've created here. It's really, really unique. Yeah, cool. So we're close to our destination. Let's kind of peek our heads over. Oh, Meyer Lurks. Event, the battle that never... Oh, it's a quest. Or it's an event, not even a... Fight a Civil War battle reenactment with your friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> Dramatic softshell Meyer Lurk. Like he was playing uh, soccer or something. Okay. Uh, Meyer Lurk meets. So yeah, so we've got this freaking event here. Uh, Prickett's Fort is running a battle reenactment with live ammo. I should go talk to the curator. Well, I mean, I could go talk to him, but... 
I mean, there's nobody else here, so I don't really think there's going to be a whole lot of reenacting going on. Kind of like it out here. I mean, for the time being, it's quiet. I know it's not going to stay that way, but... Uh... Oh, okay. We've discovered Prickett's Fort. I'm going to guess that that's the curator right there. Yeah. Prickett's Fort. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? I want to tell you guys something. I try to create a unique thumbnail for every episode, and it is hard to get thumbnails for this game. Because you don't ever, you, normally a thumbnail, you're going to want to like put a person's face, you know, because it's recognizable and it jumps out at you, you know. But you never talk to anybody in this game, you know. There's no humans to talk to, so I don't, ha I don't have any faces to put as uh, thumbnails. Uh, so I'm always trying to find something interesting to put as a thumbnail, and it's not easy. It is not easy. Because I know some of my thumbnails suck. Oh, button, activate. Well... Not sure what that button will do, so let's look around a little bit. Woodpile gather. All right. Um, let's not just go pressing buttons willy nilly. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I bet I know what these are. These are like little, uh, you know, it's going to tell what this scene is, right? Oh, nope. It's going to open these up. Okay. Civil War era top hat and a tomahawk. No, thank you. I don't need this stuff. Uh huh. All right, here is... Okay, never mind. Don't know what that is. It looks like a postcard, maybe. And here is a wood bucket. Oh, oh man. I can't unlock that. Have I have I leveled up in a while? Well, I have one level I can go up. Um, I'm not getting any more perk cards, though. Just kind of a bummer. Perception, I do believe, is where I get... My uh, lock picking skill. What in the world? Panna pictographist. You hear directional audio when in range of a magazine. Interesting. I'm gonna get that. You hear directional audio. <laughs> you can just hear those sweet, sweet zines. Let's take this. This sounds interesting. I haven't found any zines yet, and uh, we have two points that we could use. And I'm telling you, man, I used to have Picklock of Two. I... And I know one of you in the comments believes me. <laughs> I know one of you believes me. Uh, oh, let's let's, let's uh, equip this thing. That was weird. I could have swore this thing said that I could put two things there. Yeah, look, two unused points, right? Two unused points. I take this. This is one point. I put it on there. And now suddenly I don't have any points available. Something weird is going on, man. Three unused points. One, two. Two unused points. S something weird, man. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of bizarre. Kinda. So this button over here is just going to open this up. And, uh, well... You give me to a burnt textbook, so not very exciting. A cigar box, I don't need that. Trifold American flag, I don't need any of this stuff. So, we're just gonna let it be. Oh, tokens. I'll take some tokens, sure. Uh, what? 50 caliber ball. Does anybody see a 50 caliber ball? Okay, I just took six 50 caliber balls. Didn't see them, though. Prickett's Fort. Frontier Monument presented by Society for the Preservation of Historical Recreations. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's listen. Dick Shale here, welcoming you to Prickett's Fort Historical Landmark. This amazing moment in time is brought to you by Nuka Cola. The park features a reconstructed refuge fort and commemorates life on the Virginia frontier during the late 18th century. Join me as we mosey on down the trail to the right for the next part of the tour and take a fascinating stroll through history. Anybody want to go on a fascinating stroll through history with me? Who's this guy? A confederate guy. forces are mustering in the parking lot. In the parking lot, huh? Confederate forces are oh, okay. mustering in 
Alright, if you say so. Um, we will talk to him in a bit. Let us, uh, let's go on this tour. Let's take this tour. We're just going to follow the uh, signs here. Learn a little bit about what happened here at Prickett's Fort, maybe. Oh my, what are those? Anglers? Oh man, go away anglers, I don't want to fight you. Hmm. So where is the next audio recording here? It is right here. Let's listen to this one. The blacksmith shop. This is a typical blacksmith shop where blacksmiths would make horseshoes, various tools, and perform routine repairs by hand. Blacksmiths had a general knowledge of how to make and repair many things, from the most complex of weapons and armor to simple items. Please proceed to the fort to continue the tour. Proceed to the fort. But first, somebody left some rounds laying out here. And a rabbit hide. Ooh. And a chem box with some goodies in it. And here is an outhouse. Oh. 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 Huh. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. This is a vault, a vault dweller. I finally found a vault dweller. Aha. Yes. Finally. Well, well, well. Now, see, I wish I could pick this guy up. I can't, though. Wish I could pick him up and um, kind of drag him just to see if he has a 76 on his back, you know? Because uh, I'm curious to know if he actually came from uh, from my vault. Can you guys pick things up? If you can, let me know. Let me know what key you're using to do that. It says that um, the F key should pick him up, but uh, it's not working for me, so... You know, let me know if you could pick things up. Because in the previous Fallout games, you could pick stuff up. Lumberjack saw. Look at that thing. <laughs> could I use that as a weapon? <laughs> Let's see if it shows up as a weapon. Weapons. It does not. It is not a weapon. Oh, well. What's this on the ground over here? Anything? Nah. Explosives crate. Well, by golly, we're going to open this right up. Hmm, okay. Pretty good stuff there. Feel pretty good about that. All right, well, we're supposed to uh, proceed to the fort for the next recording, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I guess I could go in here, maybe. Okay. Looks like maybe blackberries over there, I think. Prickett's Fort, 1774 entrance. This thing's in pretty good shape for 1774. Considering it's, what, 2102 now, I think? Is that what my uh, pit boy says? 2102? Here is number three. Let's take a listen. Prickett's Fort was surrounded by a tall wall with lookout towers for monitoring the area around the fort. Colonists stood watch around the clock and would alert the settlement if the British were approaching. Inside the fort, we'll see what everyday life was like for the colonists. But first, let me tell you about <laughs> Nuka-Cola. What gives it a unique flavor is the essence of 17 different fruits mixed in just the right proportions to give Nuka-Cola its trademark taste. <laughs> Boy, Nuka-Cola's refreshing taste really hits the spot. Hmm? Now, let's continue on with the tour. There should be a Nuka-Cola vending machine right by this thing, right? Because now I want a Nuka-Cola. So I wonder if this was, uh is or was a real place in West Virginia. I'm sure th you guys can tell me that. I know at least one of you watching is from West Virginia. West Virginia is a beautiful state. Union forces are mustering inside Prickett's Fort. Okay. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, this is a Union soldier. He's down. 
I'm not sure where to go for the next recording. Oh, here's another Union Soldier. So I guess if I were to activate this event, these guys would show up and start shooting. Uh, Molotov cocktail. Oh, well, we could just walk on that roof if we wanted to. Uh, okay, there's number four right there. So let's go check out recording number four. Oh, did I walk away? Did I walk? This building is the Colonist Company Mess Hall. Colonists would also gather here for settlement meetings. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. It's a short one. Well, fox hide. Hey, now. I prefer to keep my, fi my hide. Thank you very much. Oh, huh. somebody's walking around. Hmm. Butter churn top. Some different stuff in this game. Uh, okay, Union soldiers, so thankfully they're not hostile at the moment. Cooking station? I don't know if I have anything to cook. Oh, I forgot I was wearing this spacesuit. <laughs> I could make some blackberry juice. Sounds pretty good. Take that. Oh, I could make even more. Did I pick up those blackberries we saw a while back? I don't remember whether I did. Or if these are just blackberries that I had from before. Uh, I should be able to make some roasted Mirelurk meats. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, recipe for steeped aster tea, pepper, salt, spices. I don't know. Do I need that for these recipes? Maybe. Let's look at our list here. And, uh, let's see, notes, is this where recipes are? Here's a, okay, for domestic, okay, re steeped tea, steeped thistle tea, I guess I already know this one. Okay, where's recording number five? Oh, well, there's six, where's five? Here's five, let's listen to number five. This is a typical colonist barracks. Buildings housed on average 14 soldiers. 14 soldiers. Well, okay. What's up there and how do I get up there? I guess we go this way to get up here. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Got a little too relaxed. That is so disgusting. A carrot. All right, I'll take that. I'll take these things. So two, four, six, eight. So there's room for eight up here. Was there room for uh, six down below? Oh, a pipe rifle, okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm picking up these hide bundles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. other stuff. So yeah, room for eight up there. And yep, room for six down here. Okay, so like he said, housed 14. Ugh, okay. Not sure what I'm looking at there. All right. I mean, do I need these high bundles? What's this? Oh, Blackberry. For a second there, I thought that this was a like a cellar door that I could open up and uh, go down inside of. That would have been neat, but it's not. What's back here? Oh, another outhouse. soldier over there. Let's see, where was button number six? We saw it. Four. Uh, here's, oh, this is five, and then six is over here. Towers were used to monitor the area around the fort. Watch your step on the 
catwalks. Let's watch our step on the catwalks. Hey, what's up? Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. All right. Another fox hide. Uh, okay, yeah. Here is number seven. Colonists would typically keep a campfire going while cooking stew or brewing some coffee during the night shift for those who were on watch. Boy, I bet the colonists really <laughs> wish they had an ice cold, thirst quenching Nuka Cola when those redcoats attacked that early autumn morning. After the tour, be sure to visit the gift shop located northeast of the fort to grab a souvenir and an ice cold Nuka for yourself. Mm hmm. I will do that. We are thirsty, so let us take a moment to drink something and let's have some blackberry juice. Boy, blackberry juice really quenches your thirst. All right, well, I guess that's uh, all of the um, recordings. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. More of those 50 caliber balls. Here's a marksman's, ooh, a sniper rifle. I've been wanting one of those. Now I'm over encumbered. Should come as no surprise to anyone. Huh, and some bobby pins just laying here on the desk, interesting. Leather girded torso mod. I still don't know how to use those. And more hide bundles. Yep, yep, yep. More stuff I'm not going to pick up. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, unlock, alright. Oh, nicely done. Uh oh, something in here. Oh, there's a rad roach. More than one. Or was there? Was there more than one? Corn. Ah, oh, another thing to unlock. Let us unlock this. Don't ask me how I'm holding my machete and using my uh, screwdriver and bobby pin at the same time. Uh, all right. Lots of stuff here, but I'm already encumbered overly. Wow, there's even more stuff over there. Well, let's go down here and talk to this curator guy and just see what happens if I talk to him. It says up here, Versus. Um, which makes me think that maybe this is something you're supposed to do with the group. Uh, but we'll see what happens, just for fun. That's what I'm supposed to repair. We'll get to that, don't worry. What's up, dude? Oh, a visitor. I am the curator of the Prickett's Fort. You've come at the perfect time. We were just about to hold a reenactment of the Battle of Prickett's Fort. Today, we are running the Union defense of the fort from Confederate attackers. You'll be pleased to know that I've given them all real guns for extra realism. It's a nice touch, don't you think? When everyone is in the staging areas, I'll give the signal to begin the assault. Whichever team racks up the most kills gets the best prizes. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm supposed to pick a side here. Um... Oh. Are mustering in the parking lot. I guess I've joined the Confederate side. Confederate forces are mustering in the parking lot. Uh, I think I picked the wrong side because um, uh, we saw that there were Union soldiers already up there, but there's no Confederate soldiers down here. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I'm, you know, I'm curious. I guess I'm supposed to wait here for a minute or something. I don't know. Confederate forces are mustering in the parking lot. I mean, I don't, I don't see anybody. But uh, this is the parking lot, so here I am. I guess I'm the Confederate forces. It's not good news for the Confederates if I'm the only one here. Look at that, three rows. <laughs> 
huge, huge cars, man. Oh, this is a one-seater. It's got a joystick instead of a steering wheel. Interesting. All right, let's get this started. Let's see what happens here. And... Okay. Confederate soldier. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. What? But I, I, wait, I, I thought I was a confederate. What's going on here? Alright. Well, I'm not really sure. Oh, jeez. Let's try doing some damage to them. Oh, he's moving pretty quick. Oh, jeez. Why am I doing no damage at all? Okay, got him. Gee whiz. Nuka Cola always refreshing. I gotta tell you, I do not know why these guys were fighting me because I thought I was on the Confederate side. Get some lead scrap. We need that for ammo. I see you've chosen to side with oh. the brave Union defender. Okay, I guess. They usually get slaughtered to the man. Have fun. All right. Well, I didn't know that's who I picked, but it doesn't really matter to me. See if there's anybody else I could shoot up here. Before I run out of action points. Alright, who's shooting who? Yeah, this is a Union soldier. Uh, this was a Confederate soldier. Okay. I guess we I guess we won. I mean can't say I'm surprised. There's Protect more Union and soldiers. Serve. Protect and serve. Okay. Score Union 2, Confederate 0, and there's still time left, so, um... Yeah. Huh. Is there something else I should be doing in the next three minutes? Or do I just go in and talk to the guy again? Oh, nope, a Union Guide. Okay, I thought maybe he was a Confederate. It doesn't tell me I'm supposed to talk to anybody or anything. Where did he go? Oh, out of action points. Surprising to me how few enemies there are up here. These are the ones that I took out. Interesting fact about Prickett's Fort. The original was actually miles from here. Sadly, the original location was unavailable, so the reconstruction Whoa. was placed here. What the where did you come from? <laughs> okay. All right, where the heck was he in here or something? Doesn't look like it. I like this music. Surely that's not copyrighted, but I'm going to turn it off anyway. Um, it was quite pleasant though. I liked it. Take that stuff. Yep, still no Nuka Cola available. That's a shame. I could go for a nice cold Nuka Cola right about now. Oh, here's one over here. I guess I'm supposed to take him out, maybe. Okay. Any others? Oh, here's another one. Nope, that's a Confederate guide. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we'll see what happens in 50 seconds or so. Four to nothing Union. I guess I picked the right side. This is kind of neat. Hey, look, he's got the saw there on one of his arms. And I'm not sure what that is. Pretty cool. 30 seconds. Each side has been oh. reprogrammed to have fighting chance. Aren't they just wonderful? Fighting chance? 
or a fighting chance. <laughs> well, I don't see any other Confederates hiding around here. Except for the guide, and I don't think I'm supposed to shoot him. Sue. So, time is up, I believe. So, now what? Civil War reenactments can be thirsty work. Why not get an ice-cold Nuka-Cola? Okay. Is that... Is that it? I mean, the timer ran out. Another fascinating tidbit is that the fort... <laughs> didn't actually look like this. Okay. My apologies if I get in your way. It really can't be helped if I'm to regale you with the history of Prickett's fort. Alright, well, uh, that was, um... Yeah. I mean, either that's it, or I did something wrong. Well, one thing I should be able to do is repair this. Using a gear and a spring. Quite completed Bureau of Tourism. For some reason we got a metal chest. I don't really know why, but we did. And item reward. Got some more crap I need to carry around with me. That's lovely. And Trail Warden. Plus one perception. Okay. Neat. So, oh, uh, what the, another Confederate soldier. Okay, where the heck did you come from? Maybe they're just spawning down here? They have to be spawning down here, because I looked down here before. I didn't see anything. Um... Yeah, and what are these anglers doing down here? Alright. Huh. I mean, are they fighting someone or something? Ooh, let's see here. Uh, can I use this sniper rifle I just picked up? Yeah, sniper rifle. <laughs> They're just dancing. Oh, good grief. Really? That's all the damage I did? That's it? And here they come. Whoa. Oh, and there's a lot of them. Oh, jeepers creepers. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. Oh, there was some aster there. Why am I on... Oh, I guess he hit me. That's why I'm on fire. Okay, this is bad. Uh, this is really, really bad. Uh, weapons, uh, frag grenade... idea if that did any good or not. Um, huh. Golly, man. I am not doing any damage to these things at all, and they are burning me up. Gosh. Take a stim pack real quick. Jump, dude. Ah, missed him. Well, this sucks. Um... Oh man, okay. Try this. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, oh! Is he pulling me backwards? Okay, this is not working well. I wonder if these uh, Union soldiers will help me fight these guys. Run! Why am I running so slow? Move! Get this, go, go! Run, dude! Go! I'm out of action. Points. I got one. Oh, oh! I think they're helping me. Man, I'm gonna run out of freaking stim points, stim packs, man. Come to my help! Help me, Union soldiers. Yes! They're going to help me. Try not to shoot my Union soldier friends. Where are you 
going? <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh, what are you standing there for? Angler meat, raw asbestos, and excess adhesive. Okay. Did these guys take this other one out over here? I think they did. Protect Whoa! And oh serve. crap! They're showing up as enemies now, Protect probably because I accidentally serve. hit them. Okay, they did not take this guy out. All right, we got him too. Good grief, man! Well, sorry I angered you guys, um, but uh, hey, killed some anglers and got some cool stuff, I guess. I guess. So, uh, we completed the quest called Bureau of Tourism, and um, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's done. There is nothing else to do for that, so that was kind of, um, anticlimactic. Um, and it's interesting, I don't even see it showing up down here, right? I mean, I guess these are the completed quests, but, uh, that Bureau of Tourism, I don't know why this... Prickett's Ford is running a battle reenactment with live ammo. The battle has begun. Late arrivals need to talk to the guides to join. So, um... I'd kind of like to... see if this has an ending to it. Uh, looks like I'm hungry. So, let us, uh, take some food. Baked bloatfly sounds delicious. Awesome opossum bacon. Also sounds delicious. And some... I don't want to just eat plain old angler, uh, angler meat. So for dessert, let's have some fancy lads snack cakes. There we go. I'm feeling so much better now. So where was this guide? I mean, do I need to talk to a guide in order to end this quest? There was one up here somewhere. Oh. Okay, the, these Union soldiers are friendly again. Those in there are not. I haven't walked over there yet. Here's a guide. Let's see what this guy says. You want to be a Union soldier? Then get in there and defend that fort. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. What the... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> now I'm a Union soldier and I'm fighting Union soldiers. So, go figure. Oh, they're behind me. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this is making zero sense. I mean, a couple of these guys had turned red before, but they weren't attacking me. And then as soon as I say I want to be a Union soldier, they attack. So, beats me, man. I don't know if uh, any of you who, are, who have played the game... Um, come across this and how did things work out for you? This is making no sense. Dang on it, did I miss him again? Oh, come on! Oh, I guess I did hit him. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Alright, now it's all quiet. Oh, 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 it's doing that thing again. Okay. So, um... Well, I mean, is there really anything left for me to defend? Yeah, this doesn't make any sense at all. So... Yeah, okay then. This makes no sense. Let us, uh, let me see, can I move my camp here? Of course not. Probably can't move it anywhere out here. Because I kind of like to... Let's just walk over here and see if, um, 
Oh, look, here's a number eight. Let's listen to this one. Welcome to the gift shop, the final stop on our tour. We'd like to thank you for visiting this historic landmark mock-up of Prickett's Fort. Ooh. I say mock-up because the real fort was destroyed centuries ago. It was lovingly recreated based on a series of documents and educated guesses. Isn't science great? Anyway, don't forget to take home a piece of American history from the gift shop. Oh, and make sure to grab a nuka for the road. I hope everyone had a swell experience. This is Dick Shale, signing off. Thanks, Dick. He's dead. Shotgun shells. 45 rounds. Oh, some good stuff in here. Hide bundle? No, I don't need any of that stuff, man. Stim pack? I definitely need that. Gosh. Going through the stim packs quick. So, here's the gift shop. There are no Nuka Cola. Oh, wait, I take it back. There is a Nuka Cola here for us. Nice. Well, I thought that there might be a small chance that there would be a bench in here, but it doesn't look like there is, so. Ski sword? <laughs> okay. Tokens? I don't know why I'm taking these. Uh, 10mm auto pistol, pre-war money in a duffel bag. Uh, cannonball, bowie knife. Uh, 45 rounds, yeah, sure. Everything's on sale, including live ammo. House teapot. Why? Who? Bird decoration. I mean, somebody actually had to sit down and design this thing. And before that happened, somebody had to decide that there was going to be a house teapot in the game. Crazy stuff. Well, um, oh my, that's sad. Oh, that's very sad. Quantum bear. So, I was thinking of putting my camp down here, somewhere, um, so, you know, maybe, uh, scrap some stuff, put this away for now, out of action points. Nothing in the dumpsters. See what's going on in here. All right, pre-war money. Ooh, a Nuka Cola Quantum. Anything in the fridge? No. Take the Wonder Glue. It seems like I always need adhesive. Am I really going to look in every single one of these? Yeah, I am. Because sometimes you find ammo. You know, sometimes people leave ammo. I peed. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, my. Scary. Oh, gas mask on and everything. Well, there you have it. There's all the porta potties. That's some exciting stuff. And uh, down here is the parking lot. So, where can I put my camp? Let me see, where am I on the map? Oh, I can't look at the map from here. Let me back out. Okay, I'm walking kind of up here. I'm still very curious about that thing over here though, right? So I'm gonna put my camp, my camp down. Oh, exiting event, whatever. The event's over broken game. Oh, what? Ha why did I just make that noise? Let's spend 11 caps and put this thing down here. And uh, now that this is down, let me put down a uh, weapons workbench. And we'll go ahead and put down an armor workbench. 
And um, we'll put down this thing. And I mean, is there any reason to put down my stash? I don't know. I'm going to put it down. And then we'll just throw this here in the middle. Just because I had it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm curious. Um, whoa. Let me back out of this. So, the, uh, there was a suggestion given in the comments. What would happen if I picked up all of my stuff, right? Everything out of here. Now, in order to do that, I mean, we're talking a lot of work because there's no easy way to get everything. I can't, um, you know, press a button and move everything. Gosh, it's going to take forever, I feel like. But, so I was going to grab everything out of my stash box, because at the start of the game, I was putting stuff in my stash box without scrapping it first. So the question is, is if I grab everything out of my stash box and then scrap it at a bench... Arm day. Three sets of 12 reps. What? Okay, for some reason I'm listening to a recording now. <laughs> uh, yeah. If, if I, um... Scrap everything, will it take up less space? So, sorry about this recording playing here. Don't know why I decided to play that. Uh, I feel like we're only about halfway done. Um, and I'm just, I wish I could just hold down the space bar and it would do it, but I can't. I have to, have to keep pressing it. So, these pipe pistols I have on here, I should scrap these things. I shouldn't store these. Problem is, is that, oh gosh, I'm going to have to scr scrap them one at a time because I can't just simply do scrap all junk on my pipe pistols because it won't scrap them because they're not junk. No! What? Oh gosh, not this one again. Help, Why is it playing this? <laughs> this was one of the more haunting ones in the game. I felt like the guy that was... Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 this is terrible. No. Uh, item. Weapons. Um. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Why do these things always run in groups? Oh jeez. Oh gosh. I'm trying to pick on one of them. And this thing's talking when I'm trying to do this. I'm gonna run out of stem packs, man. Where's the one that I've been hitting? Reload, dude. Oh no, which one? Which one's almost dead? This one. Oh, damn it. Ow, oh, reload. Killed one of them. I'm gonna run out of ammo for this. Almost out. No, I don't have any health. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have any health. I'm out of stim packs and everything. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Well, that sucks, man. Well, hopefully it'll respawn me. Oh, gosh, where am I? Hopefully it'll respawn me right at my camp. Because there's gonna be a lot of st Last death. Where the... Where's my camp? Where's my camp? All right, well, I guess I'll respawn here. Thank goodness this is nearby. But where's my freaking camp that I set out? <sighs> Man. Now it's showing my camp. I don't know why I couldn't um, respawn at my camp. Why wasn't it on my map? So I need to go and find my... Um, goodie bag because holy hell that was a lot of stuff that was in there and I'm over encumbered this was supposed to be a little experiment here <laughs> good grief oh sure I'll pick that up all right where's my 
death bag. Right over here. Alright. Transfer. Take all. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, I have everything now. Eh. And now I have zero stim packs. Right? So if I'm attacked, I am screwed. Oh no, I have seven stim packs. That's weird. Where did I get those from? So I was trying to heal myself more when those guys were there, but um, it wasn't working. What am I doing? Am I putting it, I'm putting it the wrong way. Damn it. What the? Okay, hold on. No, I don't want to store. Okay, gosh, game. This is uh, really lagging. Oh, can I have another tape play here? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now, everything I have is on me. So we come over here. Alright, hold on, let me see if I can turn this off. Which one's playing? Okay. All right, scrap items. Scrap all junk. Yes. Okay, so all of my junk has now been scrapped. Okay? I think. It's hard to say. If I go to junk, all I have is a beer bottle, which for some reason didn't get scrapped. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, so there's no junk anymore. All of my junk is scrapped. So if I come over here, transfer and I do store all junk well it's not gonna store anything right um, so where are where's my scrap stuff right my scrap stuff doesn't show up here but you will notice that this says 339 out of, out of 185 I had 400 in here right I moved everything from here over to here and just scrapping got me down to 330, 339. That's on top of the 200 plus that I already had. So that seemed to have helped. Now where my junk or my scrap is, I don't know. I don't know where my scrap goes. Um, except in a bag when I die. So very strange. Like if I wanted to craft something in my spacesuit. You know, I could craft all this stuff, but I mean, I don't want to craft any of that. So, I don't know, man. Uh, but I need to end this episode. Um, so, I'm going to end this episode here. <sighs> and I guess I should take the time to scrap, you know, uh, stuff that I'm not going to keep. You know, like, for some reason this pistol here is too high of a level, so I should scrap it, right? So if I scrap it, it takes my, you know, weight down to 335. Well, I don't know why black rimmed glasses weren't junk, but, oh well, a board, I, I scrap that, you know? All this stuff I scrap that can be scrapped, and my weight will keep going down. So I'll, I'll take care of that kind of stuff. And then the next episode, I don't know, man. I really want to see what this thing is over here. So in the next episode, I might just walk over there and check it out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of weird things happen in this episode. If you guys have done that uh, Confederate versus Union battle up there, let me know about it. Let me know if I did something wrong or uh, if it worked for you. Or uh, if I'm just not understanding something. Um, but always, I appreciate you guys joining me. I hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, why don't you please consider subscribing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope I see you.